which I have not filmed any of those videos, like the favorites, worst, most disappointing, most surprising of 2023. So if you want to see that, please let me know um, because I was in my depression state and uh, did it not film like at all last year. So if you want to see that, leave a comment down below and I will do that because we're out of depression, baby. We're back. It's your girl Jay and today I am here with the mid-year book freakout tag for 2024. I'll leave the other years that I did this video down below. I believe that there is one year that I didn't end up doing it, but this is actually one of the tags that I consistently do do every year. So without further ado, let us get started. The first question is the best book that you've read in 2024 and that is going to be The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran. This was actually like the sixth or seventh book that I read this year and nothing has beaten it yet. It follows Dev who helps produce a reality dating TV show called Ever After. He is tasked with being the coach for the male lead during the relationships but as Dev gets to know Charlie, things start to heat up and and they realize that they have some chemistry together and it's the story of that. It also has a lot of mental health discussions that I think were done so well and I just ate it up. I am obsessed and I highly recommend if you haven't picked it up to pick it up because like I said it was one of the first books that I've read and it has not been beaten out yet so it might end up being my number one. Next up is best sequel that you've read for 2024 and mine is Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the second book in the Naturals Quartet which follows a group of teenagers who are hired by the FBI and they have special skills that make them naturals and they basically start investigating serial killers. And honestly this second book is probably my favorite in the series but the conclusion is also Chef's Kiss. Loved it so much. I loved this cast of characters. You can't help but fall in love with them. If I didn't pick this for my favorite sequel, I would probably use Sloan as my favorite character. But I'm trying to pick all different books for the questions so that they're not all the same. But Sloan is a cutie pie and I love her. But yeah, overall an amazing quartet of books. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. Next up is new release you haven't read yet but really want to and that is going to be The Darkness Within Us by Trisha Levenseller. This is the companion novel to The Shadows Between Us which was my favorite book in I want to say 2020. It could have been 2021 but it was my all-time favorite book of the year that I read it. Obsessed with it. It's got gorgeous sprayed edges. It also has a pretty under jacket. It also came with character art, which obsessed, and a book plate for it to be signed. And I am so excited to read this. I'm going to be picking it up very soon. I do want to read the first book again because it was so long since I read that one. Cannot lie, this is probably my most anticipated of the year. Next up is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. As I said, I want to choose all different books, so we're going to ignore that The Darkness Within Us exists, and we're going to say Hearts That Cut by Kika Hatsopolu. This is the second book to Threads That Bind. Really loved it. I believe that it was very high up on my favorites list of last year, which I have not filmed any of those videos, like the favorites, worst, most disappointing, most surprising of 2023, so if you want to see that, please let me know. Um, um, because I was in my depression state and uh, did it not film like at all last year. So if you want to see that, leave a comment down below and I will do that because we're out of depression, baby. We're back. But yes, this is the sequel. Really want to read it. Really excited to see where the story goes from the ending because we are left on a cliffhanger. I do think that I'm going to pick up the first book again and then read this one back to back so I get the full scope, but I'm so excited for it. Next up is biggest disappointment of the year and I'm going to go with Lore of the Wilds. I thought the concept of this was so intriguing but it was not executed very well and there's also like a random like fox companion in the book that I was so excited to see more of and then it was completely gone for the majority of the book and then randomly showed up at the end and was apparently this big thing but it was barely mentioned so like I said, it could have been so good. I think I gave it a three out of five stars. Like it does have potential and I will pick up the second book because I think it left us on a cliffhanger and I am intrigued to see where it goes, but I was definitely disappointed by this one. Next up is Biggest Surprise and I'm going to go with Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. Um, I know, I know that this is not a very good book, but I cannot lie. I was so entertained when I was reading it. The love interest is completely unhinged. He is not a good man. But again, 
so entertained. So I'm just going to ignore all the red flags um, because he's not a real person so I don't have to worry about him coming anywhere near me. That was definitely my biggest surprise because I went into it just wanting to see what all the hype was about because everybody is talking about this book and is so obsessed with it. I, I get it. I do get it. But also, Unhinged will never be me. Don't want it to be me. But will continue the series because what the fuck you know next up is favorite new author this is either a debut or new to you and i'm going to go with andy burke they wrote fly with me and i gave that book a five out of five stars i had never read an andy burke book not sure if this was their debut but they are new to me but i really really loved this book this is like a pilot passenger romance the one passenger saves somebody on a plane and then she wants to get to a marathon to honor her dead brother but she can't get there in time so the pilot offers her a ride and then they start fake dating to try to get the pilot more recognition in the airline and it is just so stinking good so good Andy also has another book coming out called Fall For Him, which I am so excited about. I'm hoping to get my hands on it at some point, and I'm hoping that I love it as much as Fly With Me. Next up is Newest Fictional Crush, and I'm going to go with Elfie from When Grumpy Met Sunshine by Charlotte Van Stein. And this man reminds me so much of Roy Kent from Ted Lasso who I absolutely freaking love. He was like the spitting image of that man. And I cannot lie, sexy. Very, very sexy. 10 out of 10, do approve that man, yes. Next is your newest favorite character. And I am going to be a little bit biased, just, just a little bit, but it is Jay from There's Something in the Woods by Molly Lakovich. Jay is actually named after me, which I am so honored to be named after one of Molly's characters. I absolutely love Molly's writing. She is a YouTuber, she's a TikTok sensation, if I do say so myself. So when she asked me to use my name as one of her characters, I obviously said yes. And also this book is just really good. I give it a five out of five stars. It is probably the best book that Molly has ever written, in my humble opinion. I'll leave a link down below to where you are able to purchase the book, but I do recommend it. It is really good. And I don't just say that because she's my friend. She's actually a very talented writer. Next up is a book that made you cry. And I don't normally cry at books. I am a cold-hearted bitch, if you will. But this one did get me close. And it was One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reads. I think, honestly, I used a Taylor Jenkins Read book for last year's tag as well. Apparently she's the only author that can shed even a little bit of a tear from me. This is about a woman who marries her high school sweetheart. They are about to celebrate their anniversary when he gets called onto a job. He boards a helicopter which crashes and he is presumed dead. So then Emma tries to move on with her life. She meets another man who she falls in love with, but then this man who she first married is found and she has to decide between her first love or this man that she has fallen in love with and it's just like a wild time it is so stinking good it definitely pulls on your heartstrings definitely recommend a taylor jenkins read book if you want to shed a tear because she'll do it next up is a book that made you happy and i had a really hard time with picking this book but i'm going to go with sinner's isle i read this and it is like a combination of pirates of the caribbean meet serpent and dove and i give it a four out of five stars but i honestly think that it is probably a five out of five stars for me i was so distracted while i was reading it because I was at work listening to it while cleaning. So I do think that I wasn't paying as much attention as I should have, but I love these characters so much. So I do want to do a reread to see if it is in fact a five stars or if my four star rating was accurate, but definitely recommend if you liked either Pirates of the Caribbean or Serpent and Dove because it is a mashup and it is so stinking good. Next is Most Beautiful Book that you either bought or received and I am going with The Shadows Between Us. Honestly, The Darkness Within Us could also be in that. It has the same sprayed edges. It has that gorgeous, beautiful cover. It has a ribbon to mark your spot and I think that's so stinking cute. Also, and then the what? final question for the day is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? And I'm going with three books that I actually literally just bought yesterday. Because everybody freaking loves this author and I feel like I am the only human who has not read from them yet. So I found three of their books on Facebook Marketplace and I was like, mm, I'm going to have to buy them. And they are Emily Henry's books. The only one that I do not have is Book Lovers. We are going to read 
all three of these and hopefully I love them as much as everybody else and then if I do I can find a copy of Book Lovers and then I will be on the hype train like everybody else. We love a good rom-com so I'm hoping that I love these. I don't want to be the only person who doesn't like Emily Henry. Alright everybody, so that was the mid-year book freakout tag for 2024. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!